All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about what a kite is and how to calculate the area of a kite. So what is a kite? It is a four-sided figure or a quadrilateral. It is not a parallelogram. So this is one of the very few of this section that we've dealt with that's not a parallelogram. So you can kind of notice it does look a little bit like a diamond, like a rhombus, but it's a little different. Instead, it has two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal. So like the top two are equal and the bottom two are equal. This can also be turned you know, sideways, but um, this is kind of the basic idea here. Um, it also has one pair of opposite angles are congruent. It's on the shorter diagonal. So um, those opposite angles are congruent, but the, the top and the bottom here between the congruent sides, those are not congruent. So it's, it's the, the sides, um, the shorter side. Just keep that in mind. Um, we also have the diagonals are perpendicular, just like a rhombus, um, and the longer diagonal bisects the shorter diagonal. So only the shorter one is bisected here, okay? Not the longer one. You can see this is definitely a shorter distance than this one um, on the bottom side here. So just a couple pieces for a kite on, on what kind of properties it has. So now we're going to go through and we're going to calculate the area, and we're going to use a coordinate grid to do this. Um, so if you see, here's a rhombus and here's a kite. So they do look very similar, but a rhombus has four congruent sides and a kite has two consecutive congruent sides. So on this one, it's the two um, right side and on this side, it's kind of the two left side there. Um, but you actually calculate the area exactly the same. You do one half diagonal one times diagonal two. It doesn't change whether it's a rhombus or a kite. Um, so on this one, we need to find out what the diagonals are when they give us a coordinate grid. So we're simply just gonna find out what's the distance across and what's the distance straight down. So if I go straight down, um, I'm not looking at the X coordinates, I'm looking at the Y coordinates. So on this one I had seven above the um, X axis and this one I had seven below. So it'd be seven minus negative seven, which is seven plus seven. So that's my first diagonal. So I have diagonal one, now I need diagonal two so I'm going to go across here. So this one I had negative 9 to the left, and I have positive 5 to the right. Um, so I am looking at the x-coordinates on this one, by the way, because the y-coordinates are now the same. Um, so now I have negative um, 5 minus negative 9, and I get positive 14. So I, both of them are by chance 14. That's not necessarily a guarantee. That's just a coincidence there. Um, so now 14 times 14 is 196, and I divide that by 2, and I get 98 square units. So that is how you find the area of a kite on a coordinate grid. I hope that helps, and I will see you in the next video.